mind as we head into tomorrow morning and right through the rest of the weekend, is it mostly the wind we're worried about or is it temperatures as well? It's the low humidity, which is always, a, the temperatures are not even really going to be a factor with, in, in fact, we're going to warm up a few degrees. And that's it. And that's it. And if you didn't notice, we were right on the mark for average today. This was a glorious mid to late October day. You'd have no clue. There was a very significant change about to happen. So let's get right into those details as I leave behind a picture perfect view on an absolutely calm, stunningly beautiful October day. That was today. Here's the issue for Sunday. The wind advisory, which I pointed out at the top of the newscast, and I'm going to stress this again, this is very different from all of the other offshore wind events we've had so far because this one makes it windy at your house. We haven't done this yet. This is the kind of wind event that goes all the way to the coast and right down to sea level. So 35 to 50 mile an hour gusts for everybody from tomorrow afternoon through Monday morning. And the things to keep in mind on this are the possibility for broken branches, maybe a downed tree. And this is the important point. Even if you are not included in the public safety power shutoff that PG&E is doing, you could still lose power if a tree goes down in just the wrong or right place. And these are the kinds of winds that will be able to do that. So prepare for power shutoffs, even if you're not in the public safety power shutoff. But speaking of the public safety power shutoffs, here's why PG&E did that. Red flag warning goes into effect tomorrow night, stays in effect through Monday morning. This is where we could see gusts to 70 miles an hour and the low humidities that Brian and I were just talking about. Let's watch the winds play out. Because as nice as today was, the first half of tomorrow will be similar. We're going to start out cloudy tomorrow, and the winds don't really pick up until the early evening. Look at the time there. That's 1 o'clock. It started to get windy in the mountains, but not here yet. So by 1 o'clock, you still haven't noticed the winds. But watch how fast this is going to turn on. I'm going to take us from 7 o'clock right around sunset, and the winds are picking up. And it's kind of like turning a switch. The winds are just going to start going. And as we get into the evening and overnight hours, that's going to be the worst of it. Sunday night into Monday morning. And then by the time we get to Monday afternoon, the winds will die down, but the humidities are still going to be ridiculously low, which is why that red flag warning keeps going. Why are they saying the Berkeley Hills should consider leaving? We're going to come in for a close-up look at 1 o'clock in the morning on Monday. And the Berkeley Hills sits on the downwind side of the Berkeley Hills, which is why it's called that. And as you take the winds and force them down in a scenario like this, that's going to speed up the winds. So the Berkeley Hills is going to experience this a lot more directly and in a more extreme way than most other places will. So you do have some unique aspects to this, and it's not only the Berkeley Hills. If you are in any of those valleys in the North Bay, you're also going to get strong down sloping winds, which will really intensify these winds down in the communities where we all live. Basically, think of it this way. If you live to the west side of a mountain range, the winds are going to get amplified for you. And that's most of us. But the Berkeley Hill sticks out like a sore thumb, especially for the history with the Oakland Hills fire. And that's why we're stressing that so much. Humidity levels are going real low. No news there. Morning lows tomorrow, not a story. Daytime highs, not a story at all. They're right on the mark for average. We may warm up a little bit over the next few days. I doubt you'll notice. You don't even see the wind event that shows up in a 70 forecast. And again, the time frame for this is Sunday night through much of Monday. 